Paintings in ancient Egyptian tombs show seafaring ships and their cargoes. But it was not until archaeologists working from a survey ship located an underwater shipwreck off the rocky coast of Turkey that we gained an insight into the richness of some of those cargoes more than 3,400 years ago. Divers located the remains lying on the seabed, so encrusted that many of the objects were unrecognizable and the archaeologists could only guess at their identities. But every single object was collected and brought to the surface. Before they were moved, their locations were carefully mapped, and although they were working underwater, the archaeologists gradually pieced together a detailed plan of what remained of the ship's cargo. The cargo included ingots of copper, shaped like ox hides, tin, precious objects, and to everyone's surprise, ingots of glass. Dozens of colored ingots intended for remelting and making into jewelry and other small things. Some of the ingots looked almost new, despite the fact that they were 3,400 years old, while others were caked with incrustation. Clay tablets with cuneiform inscriptions have been found at numerous sites in the Near East, and a few of them contain recipes for making glass. Chemical analyses of some of the glass from the shipwreck show that it was made with a recipe similar to formulas on the clay tablets. Tomb paintings, clay tablets, an underwater shipwreck, and chemical analyses are just a few of the ways we're learning about glass and glassmaking nearly 200 generations ago. Mm -hmm.